Morning class, this is Will Kemp from Will Kemp Art School. I'm just going to show you a quick demo on some really basic palette knife techniques for mixing your colours. This is with some oil colour, this is titanium white, which often when it comes out of the tube, straight from the paint manufacturer, see how hard I have to squeeze it? It comes out quite, quite a stiff consistency. So you see how when I'm pushing that around, it's, you know, it's harder to push around. I'll just show you with a bit of um, acrylic paint, just so you can see the difference in the consistency between the two. So here is some artist quality acrylic. This is golden acrylic. This is their heavy body range. You can see the difference, how that, that moves a lot easier than the oil uh, titanium white. This is, is harder to push around. You'll also notice it's probably quite hard because it's white on white, but how the titanium white um, with the oil paint isn't quite as bright white as the titanium white in the acrylics. So this is the acrylic here and this is the oil paint here. So when I'm working, I prefer to use um, a palette knife that's got a hard edge on it, like an angle to it. This is a number 45 and it's by a company called RGM. Um, I think they're quite a standard palette knife. I'm, I found them very, very good. They've never snapped on me or broken on me. They've got, you know, what's called like a nice flexibility in them and you can mix with them very well. I like when you've got a flat edge because it means that what you can do is you can scrape you know, off the bottom of your palette, of your surface, and really, you know, get a lot of the pigment out. So when you're mixing, essentially all you're doing is kind of just keep on moving the paint around and around, just so that it mixes into, in together. And what I always do is kind of, with the edge of the palette, is like I push it into the middle and push it around if anyone's ever made cement, it's a very, very similar process really, is you just keep on pushing it in together and, and mixing it all through. As you begin to push on the, the bottom part of the palette, you'll find that you'll start to get bits of residue that come on the top of the palette. So you'll see as I work, I often then turn it upside down just to scrape that off and then you know push it back in. So with artist quality um, titanium white, when you're first using that in your painting, it can sometimes be too stiff for the first under layers of your painting. So what I'll often do is just add a bit of medium to them just to make it a bit more uh, liquid. This is just odorless mineral spirits here that I'm just adding in to start with. And I just use a pipette just to drop a few bits on. If you're using acrylics, again, pipettes can be very handy because you can just drop a small amount of water onto your paint and just mix that in at a small bit at a time. So you see how I start to push it all in together. I'm still just, you know, kind of working in from the sides. And I'll start to scrape it and you like fold it over on itself. I suppose it's like mixing anything, you know, mixing cement, mixing cake mixture, you know, it, it's all exactly the same. Then if I wanted to dilute it a bit more, I might add a touch of my medium in. This is a very simple um, linseed oil and odorless mineral spirits medium, a very basic one. And that's looking a nicer consistency, you know, for putting on at the stage of painting that I'm at. See again how I push it in and then kind of fold it over and you push it down. You can be quite hard with the palette knife, so I can put quite a lot of pressure on here and it will still um, withstand it. Then if I'm transferring it onto the painting or onto the palette, I just kind of you know scoop some up. 
So if I'm working onto the painting and I'm you know painting with the palette knife, I'll often grab it. So you see how it kind of creates this 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 bead you know along the bottom of it, and that's what you're that's what you're looking for. So then once you've got that. So it's on you know one side of your palette, it's easier then to twist that around and you know, push it onto your painting. Okay, that's it. This is Will Kemp from Will Kemp Art School.